We got Beanie Senpai. If you're not following him and following his free-to-play journey, he's a new, probably the newest content creator that I can think of. Anyway, this is where I'm at with the account, level 35. What I'm mainly focusing on so far is the missions. And I'm stuck here. Not stuck, but I'm working towards it. It just takes some time on that mission. And then I'm doing the challenges on the side as well. Getting around to it whenever I, I, I can. The best thing for me to do would be to focus on one thing and one thing at a time. But there are things that keep happening on my account that sort of throw a wrench in mm. my plans. Normally, when I do free-to-play accounts, I like to choose one thing and one thing only, and that's usually what I focus on. Get one champion, your campaign farmer, to level 6, and then start farming. To get your, your silver or your food, because early on you're going to want to farm 12-3 for silver. Reason being more than likely you're not going to be able to do spider at an efficient rate yet especially if you don't have cold heart which is the case for me it takes me a minute to do stage five i can't do stage six yet my goal is to get the stage seven or sorry stage 10 because if you haven't seen it or if you don't know about it there is a glitch in the system talking about or not talking about there's a glitch in the system that they're not going to fix where the drop rates for and i'll link a video going into it a little bit later um the drop rates for five star gear are a lot higher on stage 10 so in terms of silver that's where i'm oh. going for but um uh, i'm also yeah sorry no no you <laughs> i've also heard that uh spiders 10 was like the new champion training area i saw that in a video or read it somewhere that instead of doing campaign that a lot of people are just farming spider 10 for silver sorry yeah no no don't worry about it um i don't know of any i don't know about that yet because you would have to have probably a solo champion or a two-man team for that and i can't think of mm -hmm. anything that's uh, free to play or accessible right now to uh, most that's people fair. but uh, other than that these are my champions so far so i'm just i'm giving a quick context overview on where i'm at and then i wanted to jump into My freaking cat is over here on top of the, the counter just knocking things over. Nero, yes, I'm looking at you. <laughs> He's just uh, staring at what me. <laughs> He's just staring at me like, what? Do you want to go back to the Russian lady that we got you from? Oh, my God. He's just staring He's at just me. He's just staring at me. Blink, <laughs> mother. Blink, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you get now I love him. Uh, but he, I don't know what he, why he's just knocking things over for no reason. What was I saying? <laughs> I swear, like having kids or like having a cat, it, it, it's just so distracting. You, you can't stream or, or video record unless I, I get my own room, but we don't, I don't have that yet. Um, yeah, these are my champions. And, um, you know, I was talking about having wrenches thrown into my, my, my processes. And one of the things that keeps happening is I keep getting uh, different champions. Initially, yeah. I started with... You know, going into this, I came in with the mindset, oh, I'm going to six-star kill. He's going to be my farm. And then yeah. I remembered, oh, we can get Monkey King. And then I started going yeah. back and forth between doing Kale and Sun Wukong. Who, who am I going to 61st? And then I thought to myself, okay, well, Kale, you can book up a lot faster. You can max yeah. him out a lot faster. He's easier to get books for. Sun Wukong, it's going to be a while before I get legendary books. And I'll talk more about that yeah. later, but... Free to play early game, you're not going to have act unless you're paying, you're not going to have easy access to legendary books. So then That's I went back and I was like, okay, well, maybe I should just focus on K. But then I summoned Saurus, who is a six mm. second farmer for 12 3 Brutal. And then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to drop everything off from Kale. I had even started getting masteries for him. But now I'm uh, going to focus more on maxing out Saurus and then re gearing and all that. And then Another thing that kind of slipped in under the rug. A little pause. A little pause yeah. there. Yeah. The referral program. I remember it. Hey, the referral the referral program is very easy to do. And I was like, you know what? I have to do a video for it, for it anyway because people um, were still asking for some guidance. Here you can get the support champion, Jamarsa, who's really good. AoE revive, some healing, sleep on the A1. So solid, epic support champion for early on in progression so i was like all right let me get her 
And then I remembered, okay, I can get Sacred Shards, and then I can get Cronum, who was a legendary champion who I used to solo a lot of content. Not a lot of content, but like mm. three different places. So then I started working towards that. And then I started running my, if you've seen that video, multiple accounts on top of that. So I yeah, literally have like three other, four, four or five accounts up at once doing that. Which I am going to need to do just to yeah. stay on par with you because I have not done any of that at all. And uh, something I'm definitely going to have to do. Just the three void shards, I can get those. I could probably do that within the next day or two. and be mm -hmm. able to um, pull those during this times too and maybe I get some new good yeah. stuff. So I'm definitely going to have to get that done. Yeah, video video, video link down below. Yeah. Or you can just <laughs> check, uh, it. It check, check, check down below. But no, uh, definitely get these free voids, get these free sacreds. Um, mm. So there's that. But I keep getting distracted and that's kind of the downfall of, uh, you know, that's, that's my humanity there. I... I mm. I always say and I always try to stress focus, but then I get very easily distracted, just like my two cats right now who are fucking with each other. And I can hear them through my nose uh, uh, noise canceling headphones. Oh, I thought you said nose. It's like you can my... hear them through your nose. Yeah, no, I can. I hear through my nose. It's a, it's a thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm noise. Clearly, noise I'm inadequate. No, nah, it's okay. Um, yeah, and so that's where I'm at, focusing on the main missions. But I need to get back to basics because I really got to pick one thing. So in, in Beanie's video, guys, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it down below or I'll connect it at, in an end screen at the very end. Go and check out the first half of this discussion on his channel. Go ahead and show some love. We talked about this. I forgot what I was going to say, but we talked about it. What were we going to talk about? Just focusing on one thing at once. Oh yeah, focusing on one thing, <laughs> one thing at a time. Soros, I gotta get him to sixty. There's no two ways yeah. around it. I need to focus on getting him, and he alone needs to be my sixty because I have to get the best gear on him so that he can farm for me. Getting my champions up to, um, or sorry, uh, getting food, getting all these champions, and turning them into the food is going to be the one of the best things I can do for this account. Doing twelve so three and silvers with uh, with this mm. um, from your perspective. So you're gonna upgrade Soros to six star. You already have him five star. You have him mm -hmm. maxed. Once he's six star, you'll be able to six second farm. Once he has the gear, which you probably already have, be able to six second farm. Um, do you think that's more important earlier to get a super fast farmer, whether that be Soros? I got lucky and got Bellower whether you use your starter for the 30 seconds, do you think that's far more important than upgrading? Like I'm going to six star my kill specifically because I need it for clan boss. Mm -hmm. Do you think, do you think it's more important to focus on as a new free to player that doesn't know much about the game? What do you think is the most thing to focus on is trying to hit higher clan bosses, dungeons, or really just trying to get a, a, a champion that can farm, uh, 12-3 brutal uh, efficiently. What do you think yeah. is the most important? So the question between should I do clan boss first versus a 6 second farmer or you know a 10-12 second farmer yeah. I would say get your farmer first. The, the, the most important thing would be to get your farmer um, you know clan boss will come but clan boss is also limited by the champions and the gear that you're going to have available to you in the beginning. Whereas you could go straight to campaign right now on normal you could go to stage 10 it doesn't take long to get to and you could just run a stage here and you can get your your farmer right there if you don't want to use kale as your 30 40 second farmer and you want a six second farmer Soros is probably going to be the most consistently reliable most accessible free-to-play champion that you want to get to first then you want to focus on clan boss but then mm -hmm maxing out your damage in clan boss is always going to be gated by things like the gear that you have available the champions that you have available because you're not going to have a lot of shards from from the get-go and also masteries masteries is going to be a huge huge one uh, unless you like have a, a decent or a strong team to farm minotaur you're just mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to get masteries for all your champions yet so that's kind of going to be kind of going to be a work in progress but definitely campaign farmer, then your clan boss, 
then you want to start working on all of your dungeons. I specifically think you should focus on Dragon first, because Dragon will drop speed and accuracy and lifesteal. Speed and accuracy are a good starter. General utility all around raid across the entire landscape. These sets will get you right. Lifesteal is great for uh, soloing some content that you need. Like, for example, Shield Guard can solo Nightmare Campaign. He can do some stages uh, soloing the Spider if he's in a good lifesteal set with stats. Stalwart is pretty, pretty nice as well. Toxic Gear if you want to up your clan boss damage as well. All that is here. And then Fire Knight. But Fire Knight is a little bit hard because, again, you are limited by the amount of or which champions you have. You're limited by your multi-hitter champions. So I wouldn't focus too much on that. That comes with time. And then doing Spider is also something that comes with time as well with the right champion or team composition. So there's, And I like the way yeah. that you worded that. Um, you explained it very... You explained it in a way that made a lot of sense to me as a new player. It's like, so? plan boss is very important in the game. Mm -hmm. But no matter how good your champions are like even if i had all my champions 60 mm -hmm. starred right or 60 star six starred right now and i was attacking clan boss they're only going to get better if i can get certain types of gear which is not guaranteed right you can run spider for 300 energy and get one good piece maybe three maybe 10 or you can get none but exactly. if you were to go farm up those champions to level 60 or farm up Saurus or farm War Maiden or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, you can just do all that for free with the energy and that will build up your account to unlock fa or faction crypts and unlock more dungeons to do. Exactly. So overall, it's unlocking more things in the game to be accomplished. And I like the way that was worded. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm glad that resonated with you. Like I said, like we like we all know and we all talk about, clan boss is super important because you have a chance to get your ancient shards. Potions go a long way. You get gear from here, and the higher you go, the better the um, the better the rewards. You can get your books here. It's so weird, and I guess we can start sec uh, segueing into some of the. Cha I have a list here on my other screen. Some of the mm. the challenges that I'm facing as a veteran, reliving the beginner free to play experience. Mm -hmm. um like not hitting clan boss not hitting ultra nightmare nightmare and brutal on a daily basis and getting sacreds voids the greater potions gems books the the gear it, it's just one of those things like where I, i'm looking at my champions like oh okay like i need to i need to get skills up leveled up for sun wukong i don't have any books and it's going to be a long time <laughs> before i get any books yeah. The other thing to, I guess, echo on that is for a champion to really do well, to see the full uh, to see the full potential of a champion, you need to have them booked all the way out. Because you're not going to you're not going to get the whole scope. You're not going to get the entire picture unless a, a champion is fully booked out. Which yeah, is... and I think like yeah. if you go, I mean, can you click on I guess Kale for a second? Mhm. Mm and then go to like his A2 or, or A1, it doesn't matter. Or like just one of his. So like even right there, like that one's, or yeah, click either one. But like if you read it, you know, like this one attacks four times, has a 40% chance of placing the poison, right? But if we look down at the buffs, that turns to a 50% chance once he's booked. And you get an extra 20% damage. And you get a turn cooldown. So like it's like infinitely better compared to not having it leveled up. Yeah, uh, exactly. Or like the same thing can be said with uh, Sun Wukong or even an epic like Jamarsa. She has AoE revives, but it's on a seven turn cooldown. With books, it'll be a five turn cooldown, which is still pretty high. Mm -hmm. But it's it's pretty significant. Same thing with her heals. Her heals will be bigger. Cooldown is going to be shorter. Or if we're looking at somebody like um, even Sun Wukong. His damage is going to be significantly increased. That's an extra 30% once you get books on him. Same thing here, an extra 20%. Once, uh, down one turn for a cooldown. And then we were talking about Kale, 50% chance of placing the poisons. Well, when you get masteries for him, and you can pick up Sniper, you increase those chances even further. That's a 55% chance to place those, those buffs. So that's why 
all of these things will come together as a newer player this is a lot it's a lot yeah. to to conceptualize to understand to really get the idea of how and why everything synergizes the way that it does and yeah. you know you were talking about in your video like a lot of players new players they get lost they they become aimless or like don't know where they're going and i feel like a lot of people end up quitting the game early on because they they don't feel that that hit progression especially once yeah. they get to missions that they get stonewalled at yeah i feel like the most or most of the people that play raid that end up quitting raid are the players that play within the first month i say within the first month if you're you either choose whether you're going to not play the game anymore or you're going to continue because yep. you get to a point like where you're just like what am i doing or am i supposed to be going and if you don't have anything or anyone or good clan that's like i mean encouraging you to keep going mm -hmm. or helping you talking to you then you're just going to get lost you're just going to be like well i can just play something else and yeah. i think something that raid i wish did better just a few things i guess not to just dump on raid but yeah, no, one i wish it was with all the missions that we have to do with changing uh like get an attack champion with yeah. a set of armor or uh, gloves chest and boots with attack percent but they cost money and you don't really have that much silver nah. early game i wish at least for like the first couple weeks or for the first bit that you could do that for free or at a discount or something yeah because you don't have that much silver and you're using it to complete these missions that aren't even giving you silver back all the time no it's 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 measly especially early yeah. on you, you know you you're having to upgrade a lot of gear you know all this gear to level yeah. four to level eight to 12 to 16. it does cost a lot and it, it stacks up especially when you don't have access to spider like right. right now i'm about to not have any silver and so that's another another struggle that i'm coming across but yeah. um you know the resource issue is a big thing in the beginning of raid and you probably noticed this you have energy for days seemingly endless wow. amounts of energy and they just keep Thousands throwing that shit at you right yeah. that's then, by design though that's by design exactly that's that's the the psychological hook yep exactly and it works yep Virgie just stepped into the building here. Virgie is a hey, new content creator who started his free to play series. Um, you know, you can I'll link him down below. You can go ahead and check him out. Virgie, did you want to uh, give a little bit of of thought? You sound like you had something to say when it came to the energy resource. Could you talk about that? Well, just kind of the kind of the whole beginning, the like the beginning missions. Mm -hmm. You're set up to kind of fail. Yeah. And I think that it's very intentional. Like, there's so much criticism that's put on these every time content creators do a new free to play challenge, like the big ones. They're always like, oh, they need to fix this. Yep. But it's done on purpose. Like, they intentionally get you to waste energy doing stuff you really shouldn't be doing. Oh, my God. But it's all in an effort to increase their profit. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's, that's not only that, I think the people's expectation of the speed of which this thing, these things need to be done yep. is way different than what Polarium initially intentioned these missions to be for. Could you talk yeah, a little I think bit? The, no, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go, go, go. I think the, the biggest thing is, I think it's slightly different. I think it's done intentionally for sure, right? Mm -hmm. I think they dump you with all this energy. They give you all these resources to be able to play as much as you want. Like at one point I was sitting at 2000 energy with pots in my, mm -hmm. you know, just being yep. able to do as, do as much as I want, however yep. much as I want. And I think they do that because even if you choose not to do the missions, you don't have to yep. like, sure, they're great, but you could go through the game without doing them. Like they give you stuff, but I don't think it's mandatory to have to 100%. do them. But I will say once you're used to having 2000 energy, you know, being able to upgrade everything as much as you want, being able mm -hmm. to play as much as you want. Eventually, you get to a point where you can't play as much as you want, and you have 200 energy. And you run a campaign 10 times or 20 times to, to farm, and now you have no energy. And then that's when they get you, right? That's when you get that nice, yep. lovely, hey, that's if you it. just spend you just spend eight ninety nine, we'll yep. give you 10 <laughs> energy pots, and you can play as much energy. as you want. Ten the best energy. part about that is it's eight ninety nine the first couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
And then and then you get moved to a higher spending tier than Preach. the twenty. Yep. And then you know they just and mm-hmm. I've I spent a bit back when I played years ago, mm-hmm. just not knowing. Like I kind of fell into that this mm-hmm. exact trap because I was like, oh, this game is pretty fun. Like I don't know why yep. everybody's shitting on this. It's everywhere in the ads, but I was like, this when I finished the campaign, didn't look anything up online, didn't know that there was a content creator. Mm-hmm group around the game like i would just finished it i felt a sense of accomplishment i was like this is pretty fun mm-hmm. it was also super hard and i was terrible at it <laughs> um mm-hmm. but once but once all that energy was gone i was like huh well i want more like i want to keep yeah. playing yeah. <laughs> just, i mean look, there's an ad here you know i could get a few energy for only 2.99 why not yeah. not knowing that the next yeah. time it pops up it's going to be that like 14.99 and then just keeps going from there yep now i know it got to a point that I was like, what am, what am I doing? Like, hold on. Like, I need to take a step back. Yeah, because what am I doing? I always kind of measure things against, like, a AAA title game. Mm-hmm. Like, the price yeah. of a AAA title oh game. Oh, my God, right? yes. And then once I realized, like, well, I could have bought, like, Spend and I'm not a too. huge fan of Call of Duty anymore, but, mm-hmm. like, back right. when it first came out, I was really into it. And I'd be like, that'd be, like, two Call of Duties. Yeah. And that, what do they do, like two a year nowadays or whatever it is? It seems like they're yeah. always coming out with another one. But I was like, man, that's that's kind of egregious. I I need to stop. Yeah, yeah. no. It's uh, not... Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. I, I talk all okay, the time okay. on my channel. I want to hear you guys. Uh, oh, okay. I think a big thing is like in the moment, you're not really thinking. And I think maybe this, I mean, gotcha gambling, right? Everyone loves the... The thrill of the pull, you know, mm. I don't even have shards on my account right now because I can't <laughs> stop pulling them once I get them. But I think if you can take a step back and look at it, you know, some I've seen and I'm a new player and I've seen fifty dollars, sixty dollars. Mm. And some of them are like, here's four, you know, here's three voids, a sacred and a rare. And yeah. initially when, you know, for me, a new player, I'm just like, oh, wow, that's a lot of shards. I can just pull all these right now. Mm-hmm. The problem with that is, like, yeah, that's <laughs> some shards, mm-hmm. and you can pull some straight cheeks. Like, you can literally <laughs> no, pull yep, nothing. It's, yep. it's not that you can; you will more right. than likely. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, the, and, there's a way and, heavier weighted that you're gonna pull something terrible. And that's I feel something. like another thing. I wish they would, and I get why they don't. But most people don't even know the percent chance of pulling. Nope from like oh. agents they don't know it's a six percent or it was a six percent chance on yeah, agent me, and epics right oh they there you go they don't Look want that, that highly advertised are you no, kidding but like void kills it. voids right now are 83 percent rare 16 percent epic one percent legendary this is a times two it's weeks two of, x. So <laughs> divide 100%. this by two hundred percent right that's so I mean, it is a 0.5 percent outside of this and an eight percent so even if you're getting those three voids you have an eight percent chance in each like that's you know and that's why i always find it really interesting when people do the correct math when it comes to like these 15 and 25 x Mm -hmm. where on the surface your brain goes i have like a 25 percent chance better chance of getting this is like no 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 no. (laughs) that's not how the math breaks down and then you actually see the math you're like oh oh yeah i think a lot of people get tricked by the because i've seen the times two events which i think are the best right pull pull on these because it gives you the best chance to pull yep. something good but whenever you see the ones where it's like you have a times 50 chance to pull this champion <laughs> like yeah that is true but you still have a one percent chance to pull yeah. a legendary in general right. and then you have a yep. 50 per, like a 50 times chance to pull that champion which isn't even that high compared no. to all the legendaries in the game that was kind of my reaction here recently because everybody's mm-hmm. Like, oh, don't pull your, your void shards because this, um, what is his name? Fatalis Blademaster is so yeah, bad. Yeah. You might get him. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I have 10 void shards. Like, <laughs> and I've been saving these 10 for a 2x, trying to get a man eater, trying to get a Demitha, trying to get Cold heart. into that unkill. Yeah, something like Pain that. Keeper. And I just, I just kind of laugh at these, like, hey, you don't want to get this guy. And it's like, I'm not worried about getting this guy. I'm not his <laughs> legendary. I'm not, so, like, I'm not pulling that, In my video, I didn't even go over that there was an event for this guy. Because <laughs> I knew, <laughs> like, there's no point. I'm not going to get him. If I do, we could address it. But yeah. I'm not too worried about it because it's not going to happen. And it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't. Also, and it didn't. I think like 
I think I'll, I think there's a huge disconnect. I know me and Burrito Slayer talked about this before. There's a huge yeah. disconnect between new players, veterans, mm-hmm. spenders, non-spenders. And I feel like yeah. non-spenders don't understand what it's like to just put whatever, $1,000 down on the game and get a good team and be it's able to grind from there. So much fun. Hypothetically. You hope. I mean, you can still spend a grand and... and wind up you're gonna get something decent right I mean, but you're gonna get something <laughs> you're gonna get something some team to do yep. something to start I, I your account i guarantee you like, drop, you're not gonna drop have a thousand. yeah you're getting something you're gonna have a team to run something mm-hmm. to yeah kick start your account to continually oh, grow yeah. from there and probably not have to spend again but i feel like there's a big disconnect when content creators or people that have been playing a while are like oh yeah just save the next times two is in uh three months and 19 days and just save all your voids till then and you're just like looking at two rare champions on your account you're like i (laughs) don't know if i can do that so a lot of oh oh, go ahead Uh, my bad uh, no no, that's all good i was gonna say in a lot of like for me i don't have the patience to hold my shards i don't i just don't like waiting a month to pull all like my ancients is never going to happen and i'm gonna hold l's for that but i feel like that's another reason people probably stop playing the game is because yeah. you want me to get these ancients and i have 15 of them wait for this times two for a month and then i still don't pull anything and as i just waited a whole month for nothing yeah. and it's just like why am i playing this so one of the ways that I combated that. So since I started my account again, like starting over, having not played for several years and kind of coming back to it, I watched a bunch of videos before I actually decided to start playing the game again. I was like, all right, I need a strategy of how I'm going to do this if I'm not going to spend a dime. Yeah. And what I figured out and what has worked for me is I have 85 ancient shards. I have not opened a single ancient shard in 44 wow. days. Yeah, it couldn't be me. Could have been but me. the reason I was <laughs> able to do that is because I started with four epics that I needed to get maxed out before I even needed to pull anything to work on. Yeah. I and see. that's the way that I looked at it. It's like, if I pull more stuff, I'm just going to get distracted and then be like, well, who do I build now? I don't, yep. And that's where it's like the front page of Reddit, right? Yep. Well, who do I build? I have 8 billion epics. Most of them are garbage, but not, every, yeah. not everybody knows that. And they're like, who do I build? And my thought process was, if I just don't pull anything, I already know who I need to build. It's right in front of me. But most new players don't have that, though. I yeah. came into it with the knowledge of I can get these epics because of some link code that never got deactivated mm-hmm. and is not widely publicized. Nope. Yeah. Well, actually, as of right now, um, and maybe you know, I'll come out with a video about this. As of right now, if you're a new player, you can start the game with a link code. There's a few that are still active, like lights. I'll pull them up right now. Look. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. So I found Darth Microtransactions old video mm-hmm. from back in 2019, I think it was, and those still worked Wait, up which, until which ones? the Rathalos. Here, I'll grab the link for you. I mean, I there's a a YouTube channel that actively puts out like yeah, how yeah, to start. I follow that too. It's like 2G. Yeah, something like that. But yep. you can literally start with the link, and then you can put in a... I think for them, you can get two, because you get one once you hit a certain level. You get one when you initially log in, and then you can use your code on another one. Mm-hmm. And at that point, you have you can have one legendary, two epics at the very beginning of the game. And yeah, if you're at that point, like people, I, I feel like, start pulling shards when they hit a uh, a wall in the game. They're like, fuck, I can't progress. Let me pull these shards and maybe I pull a good champion that can help me get past this area I'm stuck yeah. at. Where's the... I'm terrible with uh, Discord. I'm still... Oh, the, I'm used to just jumping into a voice chat and nothing. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to uh, just throw a link in, into the video that, that I pulled this link code from so you guys have it. Oh. Uh, uh, next to the voice chat, there's I a little like bubble. Oh, there do, it is. Yep, 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 there. yep. And you can type in that, and then you can we can open the chat, up and there it is. Yeah, so th- it's the same concept, but it's nobody talks about this because everybody assumed this doesn't work anymore. Yeah. And I was able to start with uh, Rector Drath and Virgis and Deacon day yeah. one. Whereas Crazy. the other link codes, it's like Lightsworn and Jotun, or yeah. you know, they're not quite as yeah. good. 
No. This one no. was still working. Now, all of the ones that he lists in the video, about a minute and eight in, he shows you all the packages that you can manipulate this code to get. Mm -hmm. All the ones that have, like, a void shard or anything like that, they ended up deactivating all of those. Mm -hmm. But the actual champions, because it says you get one ancient shard with all this. You don't. <laughs> I got the champion, just not the ancient shard. I mean, um, just as good. Yeah, but it, but these are but the this isn't advertised anymore, and I I tried not to make a direct video on it because then that's how they fix stuff. Yep. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, you true. bring attention to it, and then they're just like, oh shit, we forgot to we forgot to uh, fix that. So let's go ahead and patch yep. that. But uh, but the splash screen now goes to the Rathalos event, which I find interesting. So I'm waiting for this Monster Hunter collaboration to end to mm -hmm. see if it goes back to the old splash screen and to see if these still work. But these were- Stay tuned, yeah. Amazing. And you used to be able to put your UMID and do the same thing. I remember put that. Put your UMID oh, and then and now it's your referral account, but your referral account starts with three epics as well, yeah. which is way easier, so. But those aren't, even, even as a new player coming in, unless you're drawn in with that link, you're not going to use it if or somebody even, were to start today. Or even no. Um, like, right. if you're a PC player, of course, you click the side tab and you see promo codes. But I've found out that a lot of people don't know you could use promo codes as a mobile player. Because they took it off their mobile client exactly. completely. What you have to yeah, do that's... is go to their website. Polarium has their own website where you can put in your own referral code. So you have to go to their website with their ads so they can get revenue for it. Crazy. You and know you why they do that? Why? Is because, and, and I found this out inter uh, recently because of um, the issue with Amazon, is all the purchases you make through the Apple iOS store or the Google Play store, they get a percentage of. Yeah. But if you download directly, mm -hmm. Polarium doesn't have to pay them that fee. Yep. And that's why Amazon just told Apple to go F themselves and why you can't buy stuff on your Kindle directly from your iOS device. It just says, go to your PC and download it there. I guess that <laughs> they don't want to pay them the fee. Yeah. Did you guys <laughs> like, Oh, do you know, they, they put, they put, um, great shadow legends is on steam now. Did, did I tell you, did, did you, did you know that? I saw that. I did not know that. I saw it's on that. Steam. Wow. But what's terrible about that, that I've seen, I've not personally experienced. This is all secondhand Reddit knowledge. So it's gospel. Uh, that Ghost. when you do go to it's open on Reddit, it up, it's like, real. We're, exist <laughs> we're existing players, uh, but apparently it's a pain in the butt because as soon as you open it up on Steam, and I haven't done this, mm -hmm. is that it'll create a new account and it'll make it really difficult to unlink that account from your Steam hmm. and mm -hmm. actually add your main account to it. And I was like, well, that sounds like way too much of a hassle, and I would just play it on Polarium Play. So yeah, unless yeah, I'm, it's the big difference between having it on Steam or Polarium Play, like. I mean, There's if you're going to give me some free computer, stuff, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, free stuff. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll chase the free carrot anywhere. Yeah. I'll do whatever they he's, need. Bro, he's fiending. He said, please yeah. give me some gold. A thousand energy, I'll take it. It's yeah. the free-to-play <laughs> life. I'll tell you, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll show you how this worked you out. You have to. And I'll, sh I'll share this image. So funny. So if if you go around at the end of the year like I did in, a, in an attempt to win this, and I, I didn't understand what I got until I got it, but at the end of the year, all the 2023 recap videos that all the content creators were doing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. subscribe, post a comment, put your UMID. And I did, I found every single video where they were doing that. And then the other day I get this pop up. Are you sure? Are you sure like, it? Uh, I threw it in the chat. Yeah. Oh, where, where's the, the chat? chat? Oh, I see it. Oh, okay. I oh, see wow. It. What the heck? I forgot that I had done that. And I was like, what is this? That's some really good stuff, man. Oh, and then I had to look back and be like, wait, it says giveaway rewards. What giveaway? Oh, it was all those videos. I have no Where's idea. Later, which do you know how to get there? I see it now. Oh, I'm okay. a little old, but I found it. Yeah. Back in my day, we back had in my fans day. in Discord. We my, had Ventrilo. My wife uh, came out just now. She was like staring at me like, oh my God, you fucking nerd. Like my my husband out here talking with his online friends about a video game. My, my wife's a nerd, so fortunately, I don't I don't get those looks. 
No, it was a look at that mission. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> How do I get out of here? I can't. I can't exit. Uh, just hit the. Just hit the X on the uh, X on top the top right. right. He just closed his Discord. The whole I just thing. closed I Discord. Waiting. I just closed yeah. Discord. <laughs> I, you can hit. I think you can hit the same chat button again. No, you can't. That's okay. fine. I that figured, be... figured it out. Okay. Yeah, this is where I struggle. Like I'm. Oh, that's so my funny. experience with Discord is we've had one for four or five years that mm-hmm. I just jump into with my buddies every mm-hmm. now and again, and we just sit in the voice chat, and nothing ever changes. There's no eighteen hundred channels and. And yeah. bots and all this, so I'm trying to figure the Discord side of things out. Everybody has the Discord too, so yeah. now I'm a part of eight yeah. million Discords, and the let notifications me, um, are real. Let me uh, pace the discussion towards uh, a, a conversation about gear. What are your thoughts? Mm-hmm. Both of your thoughts about, I guess, your experience. It's not just your thoughts, but your experiences and your relationship with uh, gear in Raid Shadow Legends. You know, uh, what's the difficulty getting? behind gear when you do get the gear what are you thinking about like do you think okay is this good is it bad or like what what are your overarching thoughts overarching thoughts on on gear early on in raid as a free-to-play beginner beanie go ahead yeah beanie go ahead start (laughs) well put me on the spot (laughs) well i feel like for gear again i feel like this is another reason that people leave the game is no one really explained to you what yeah. gear's good, what gear's bad, what substats are you need. Like, none of this is really explained. So as a free-to-play player, honestly, as a new player, when you see a three-star or a five-star, you're like, oh, this five-star is going to be way better. But that's mm-hmm. not always necessarily the case because you could have rolled, you know, whatever on these substats. And I feel like if they took the time to explain, like, attack champions or... Like some people don't even know that flat stats are garbage on on most on your yeah. uh, on your gear. Like no one tells you that True. unless you see it in a video. So now you're spending all your silver to upgrade these level three, three star, four star gear that you're never going to use and you shouldn't use, mm-hmm. and you're just wasting all this silver and you're never progressing in the game because nothing is telling you that this is the type of gear. Like even if they had like a general like like hypothetically if they had like another section when you go to kale and they're like here's like a recommended build of stats that you should be trying to hit to hit something that would go such a long way for new players to be like oh so i need this much speed i should be trying to go for this much attack i should be trying to go for this much accuracy and then at least you have some type of general idea of what to build instead of just taking a shot in the dark like mm-hmm. i think this is a really good piece of gear so i'm just going to spend a million silver getting it to level 16. <laughs> You know? Yeah, no. Um, well, uh, the first thing that I want to say is do not listen to the recommended tab on the on the gear for certain champions. Don't do that. Um, I didn't know there was one. There, There is one, but it's complete. Tr- I'll show you guys real quick. For an example, if we go to See? Kale and we, we look at, um, where, where is it? Reviews, for an example. There is a oh, recommended yeah. artifacts tab. It'll tell you to put crit rate gear on him. Don't put crit rate gear on him. How else are we supposed to get 100% crit rate? You get your crit rate from the <laughs> substats on other pieces of gear, but don't don't waste a set and put crit gear on 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 him. But like you don't. But you the don't, game recommends it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you don't. How are we supposed to get? No, like you you don't you don't like Beanie says you're not taught this or you don't know about this until you're like balls deep in the end game. Or not even balls deep in the end game, but like balls deep beginning into the the end game. Or like you watch a YouTuber who happens to drop this little nugget of information. You, you know what I 100%. mean? Hundred percent. So uh, also it says I like it says default recommendations. Yeah, but that's it for or everybody. You can go to, everybody. Yeah. yeah. It, it says it for just generic. The the three basic stats or sets that they give, they just they just give it out. That's it. That, this is all they say. Wait wait wait. Wait, wait, can you go left? Wait, now click around. No, no, wait, go back to the... Uh, it was Jamar uh, right there. Yeah. Does that say... Oh, that says set speed. <laughs> I thought it said, like, attack or speed gloves. I was like, I don't think you can get speed gloves. <laughs> no. 
No, no, no. I was like, what? But yeah, those recommendations. Trash. And also, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you why? It doesn't tell you anything. anything. It you, does you... at least say Let what like, on... percentage was on there, right? So yeah. it was like HP percentage gloves. Some it defense. did say speed boots as far as the substats on the, on the gear recommendations. Yeah. How so... far do you think you can get... Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Um, but how far do you think you can get if you did recommended builds, the recommended builds for all the champions, how far do you think you can get into the game? Like um Spider Actually two? pretty far. You think so? I could probably get through it's through his, brutal this campaign. This for it I think it's the same here. Attack champions are yeah. getting the same generic yeah. builds. Attack the default um, recommendations, yeah. Oh, I guess if You're they right. have a buff That's... they say put on some accuracy with attack percent, so is that Kale? The same thing Kale. as Sengu Kong, who's another attack based yeah. champion. Oh, yeah, so they're not Templar even. Templar or a Crusader. Oh, that's so. That's even yeah, worse. It's they just put a copy no and thought paste. into it at yeah, all. No, it's, it's a copy and paste. It's exactly. You guys oh, noticed Jesus. that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have a wife. Let's look at him instead. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> a lot of these champions are reskins. This. Like, the, the animations are going to be the same for a lot of champions, and then they're, they're just reskins of each other. For an example. Mm. Look at Seder. Mm -hmm. He looks, off the top of my head, a lot like. You got. You guys might know his name. Where is he? Uh, where is he? Come on, I'll find him. Here he is. Krisk. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. His movements, his animations are kind of the same, no? That's just yeah, a little probably side the note. Crisp model. Oh yeah, with the shoulder. Oh, yeah. yeah, he just did the one shoulder, shoulder shrug. Though. He didn't yeah. do the double shoulder roll. He did well, one. Then, yeah. So he's completely different. <laughs> he's he's different. He's completely different. Or Prundar. Like, Here's Prundar. Does he look like Crisp? Is he moving it's like crazy Chris? That you, that you he pulled does. Prundar? Look at that neck. Yeah, I pulled Prundar. Now I don't know. That was he's my first good, right? Void Epic. So on he, my account was Prundar. He's I got. I have no idea. I have never used him, but he seems pretty decent. Decrease speed, stun, AoE provoke. That's pretty good. Strengthen continuous. Oh, yeah. Heal, the guy four turn good. cooldown. He is yeah, for yeah. 16 books. For 16 books. Exactly. I just so go get 16 books. books. Just go get yeah, 16. No, just go, I have six. I was just eyeballing. Oh. Everyone's I think that's another thing that raid sucks eight, at. There's like no way 16, to farm 17. books or champions to upgrade yeah. skills. Like, there's no way in the game at all. That's... Right. And I mean, that's once again, that's designed. Yeah. A you lot know what of this I, stuff is designed. You know what I don't like in the shop? And the reason I don't like it is because I fell for it when I first started playing. When I first started playing, I wailed out, spent thousands mm. to get my account Ooh. to where it is. I'm bad. I've got an addiction. I bought their five. I bought this before, uh, before they had. Mm. Before they had the chaos gear, before they had six star gear, this is back when mm. Nightmare was the hardest uh, clan boss. Before they had UNM, back where where Nightmare had a cap on how much damage you could do as a clan, so people were fighting each other to get their damage in. Mm. I bought this same price. I paid thirty bucks for flat stat <laughs> attacks. Yep. Flat defense boots. Yep. HP go percent. Go to the uh, go to the pack tab top left. This is where I spent money when I started. Damn. Oof. You did this not. This is the worst. Yup. Uh, I was buying I was buying $100 limit 5 per month mm -mm. void shard packs. Mm -mm. Oh, that just sounds painful. Yeah. I'm five, hurting. 5 yep. for $100. Yup. Yo. Yep. It, bro, if you just go to the offers they're better than that. Like why would they Oh, that was better? after I bought all the offers. Look at that, three for nine dollars. <laughs> I would buy every Spence offer. He bought everything, and, and then he would and go then go into the packs because nothing else showed up quickly enough. It's like this yeah. isn't enough. Let's go. Nope. I, no, I know it's I bought terrible. it all. I spent uh, a bunch of money on it. We can't even keep talking around. about it because now I'm getting the itch to buy to, something. To want to pull <laughs> shards, and I don't have any to pull. You know what? It's the moment. Let's pull these shards. Let's just oh, do it. No, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna pull shards. 
it's oh, just real real shit. quick my my opinion on gear is that it's 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 kind of you know it, even if you do know what you're doing for an example i know what i'm doing uh, relatively i know how i want to gear sun wukong i know how i want to gear kale i know how i want to gear saurus but it's going to take a long time for me to to even drop that kind of gear to get that kind of gear and then you have to level it up with no silver yeah. then you got to get masteries yeah. it's it's a it's a it's a process and and the gear is just the biggest thing for me because stats is this is a stats game and yeah. uh if you're a newer player i think one of the challenges is that not knowing the gear and even if you do know the gear trying to get that gear to happen anyway we're doing i, agree, I agree with that i would say the one thing is that the the lifesteal gear that they give you in the beginning yeah. mm -hmm. i Imagine just took was... i just took my kale out of that and i've been yep. able to do everything i've needed to do that's good do for not... over 30 days do not <laughs> Imagine you pulled fucking cold heart right now. You can't pull cold heart from. No, he's pulling ancients. Yeah, you can only pull Isn't cold she heart. Rare? Oh, it's... she's, she's a, rare, a void rare. She's a void. Uh, nah, that's good. Don't even worry about lame. it. Nah, don't even worry about it. Cause uh, you know, some people make that same mistake too. I made that mistake I've early that on mistake too. too. I was pulling for for cold heart out of ancient shards, not knowing that that was never gonna happen. I was I was pulling pulling purples. I was like, because this is back in 2019 during the Foley mm. fusion, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy shards, and I'm gonna pull for Foley <laughs> from a void shard. Yeah. <laughs> Looks into rares like I was doing all the oh, work stuff. I fed, no, I fed, did not, I fed bro. legendaries Don't to like get my first shot. six star. I did. Fancy. I made every good, right? No, she's not. No, uh, I mean, good uh, is I'm relative, gonna... right? Like if, like if I'm a new account and I look at Banshee, I go, I can use this in faction wars to get through some early stages, and then she's a chicken for me. But Do once I can increase on her A one, seems pretty good. She's Small an version. AOE hitter on A one, right? And it's hmm. not a hundred percent; it's a thirty percent chance. No. Yeah. So okay, I'm just okay, looking. Okay, I get it. She's bad. <laughs> so well, like, I mean, she has, she has two AOE attacks, so the yeah, up to the it. first what? Yeah, it's okay. Stage. She's no bellower because I know all about how good he is <laughs> yeah. now. So. And this is such a weird number: fifty-two. Fifty-two. For Area Ally fifty-two. Res. Arena fifty-two. In arena no? fifty-two. You guys don't know the significance. The significance. What's the significance, guys? Ah, uh, it's the top I secret. Don't know. Oh, 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 oh fucking oh, hell, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's the shit we want to see. Yes, yeah. A tur. We got an A1 50% provoke. Win we get, dude, first epic on this account that I pull from an ancient, and I pull a freaking A tur. Look at this guy. Where are your clothes, That's sir? Oh, Let's go. Oh, Where are look your at clothes, legs, bro? Boy. Dude, how are you? What's your workout plan? How are you getting the early two thousands called? They wanted their tattoos back. You're good. Oh my god, yeah. He's a tribal chieftain. Yeah. No, he doesn't look like a chief. He's not standing like a chief. No, dude, he he's on the front lines, dude. Three turn cooldown, two times at random, seventy five percent chance for a provoke. Counter attacks. Immune to stun, freeze, and sleep. But only when Kalia is there. Oh. Yes, another okay. epic that you need to pull. Another epic who's who's do not do not build the carry. Uh... Oh my gosh, dude, you're doing good. These are good pull. You pulled an epic, man. Hey, Ethel. Ethel. Ethel's good. Did you start? Did you start Kale? I did start Kale. So you know, Ethel's actually pretty good. You've got a weaken and a and a giant slayer. Like, yeah, and for really fire, fire giant. Good. Yeah, for fire. Giant, or fire is fire knight. Good. Fire Knight. Why do I yeah. keep saying Fire Giant? For Fire Knight, her A1's three attacks. So no, I'll really take good. it. It's a, she's got an, yeah. uh, a three hitter See, on her You're A1. pulling heat yeah, right now. Pulling freaking you're pulling lava, better than I am. No. You're pulling better um, than I am. That's another you know, thing. Not being able to have the champions, not being able to do dungeons efficiently is a huge thing for me that I'm noticing mm. that a lot of newer players will definitely struggle with. Even yeah. if you know how to do the dungeons, if you don't have the champions, you can't do it, and you can't do it efficiently. You just can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm used to doing it on my, you know, my my end game account. I'm used to mm -hmm. ramming through the fire knight in about like, you know, on hard six under two minutes. I'm used yeah. to to fisting the dragon in about thirty eight seconds on hard. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm used to violating the spider in like five turns. Yeah. Yeah. So when those when those uh turn based uh tournaments come out, you're like, oh, this is easy. Exactly. But then on this free to play newer account, I'm taking like three You're just minutes. happy they have a triple hitter. <laughs> I'm just there happy to go. That's a win right there. Look at that. There Word. He's, he's actually nice for the uh, for the spirit keep mission. Is he? Because he has the uh, he has the heal reduction in his kit. What did I pull? I think he's further down. Yeah, yeah he's headsman. headsman. So he's got the heal reduction. He really? No, I got I got eight. I got source, oh. bro. Yeah, but his what's his percentage chance of landing it? Listen, source is cooler. I, That's I, all that source is cooler, bro. Oh, Saurus is way better. Most Saurus people don't cool, realize that. I forgot that you had your Saurus built. Most people don't realize Saurus is the way to go. You can complete all those missions without. Oh, comments. he's a madman. Oh, rip madman. R.I.P. Everybody press F in chat. Oh, sevens and I don't. I don't know what's happening. Oh, but, Beanie wasn't you know. here for it. Hydra. No. He was cracked for Hydra, and then Polarium no. was like, "Ah, oh, well, we can't freaking have that. Let's rewrite the code." They're like, yeah, we can't have rares being good. Then they won't spend money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was. He was he as good as Trunda, Yumeko, or yeah, no, slightly under? He was slightly under because you know but it still. is, but he was still on par. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they were like, absolutely not. <laughs> rares are way exactly. too easy to get. You're gonna have to spend money to get multiple yep, Yumekos exactly. and a Trunda, please. That's why they don't nerf Yumeko or Trunda yet, because you have to. Oh, look at that! Pay money for Slither Brood. I'd say uh, Rosin uh, Fusion. Yeah. Is he? Oh, is he? He's a Fusion? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll take that. See, I mean, that God tier right. pools right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm bro. jealous. You already know. I'm jealous. Hey, wow. Soul Bound so Warrior. Long. That's huge. That's a huge, huge one. I was one watching a guy the... who uses her as their campaign here, farmer. Just really? getting carried. Absolute yeah. carried by your pools right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, her uh, A1 doing uh, AoEs. It's a huge I've always wanted to, turn to, to pull her early on on an account to try her as a uh, campaign farmer because mm -hmm. I saw a guy that was using her as their campaign farmer and I'm like that makes a lot of sense because she has so much usage beyond campaign farming like she's yeah. great in spider like she's obviously doom tower hard rooms mm -hmm. but I've never gotten her like early that. enough yeah oh damn it's like even if I pull the legendary right now I just hate not having books. Not having books for epics or legendary. It's just such, yeah, a, it's such a big difference. Big headache. I'm, what if you pulled I'm so Acrisia used to right not now. having books. So. I, can't, <laughs> I can't pull Acrisia from... Uh, Acrisia. Oh, two of them. Oh. Acrisia is a Hey! Yeah, that's food. pretty lucky. That's good yeah, food right the same It's a 10x for that. Slither. I want another... Who the hell is that? Fusion Champion. Wanderer. Look, bro. So you just yeah, fuse everything. That's another one. Yeah, that's another one for wow. Rosin. So that mission will... Is he a main mission? Rosin's a main mission, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's after Arbiter, like a little ways after the Arbiter. I, mm -hmm. I only ever made it that's to crazy. just pass that. Bro, there's no... Oh, that's, that's oh. Yeah, they look almost identical. Her re yeah, the like, skin sister. Oh. The twin. Without the AoEs. Okay. At the very least, I have food now. Are you going to use the promo code to get the Penitent Champion? What what promo code is that? Oh, hold on. oh I, I did that I got one. A, I got a spreadsheet with all my promo it's, codes. Uh, is it Xmas Raid? Try Xmas Raid. Hold on. This one was... Oh, it's something like that. I got to turn myself into a promo code. Um, Preserver, what if it gave you something? Pre Preserver is I, I Love it. Raid, and it's oh, the there champion it is. Preserver. Oh, I already used it. Okay. I already used it. And I already got rid of that champion. I, already, I, fed I did too. I fed did you feed her? I fed her, dude. Yes. Oh, she's far, she's the, she goes with Slither Brute. Don't you just lie need to a me. channel. Don't and, and you, don't you just needed one more champ to get Blood Feather. <laughs> don't lie to me. I'm not. Don't, don't, I'm looking don't, at the Rosin Fusion right now. Don't lie to me, bro. <laughs> don't lie that's to me. That's why I picked her up. Because I was like, oh, that's one of the Rosin. Oh, I yeah. still have her. Never mind. I okay, thought I did. There you go. Yeah. So, like, oh, you know right what above her is Slither Beanie's Brute. over there. <laughs> I actually have her in my vault. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, there let's go. go. I was just like, oh, hey. she's a fusion. I'm just going to throw all the fusions in my So you bowl. just need Channeler because the uh, the dog is farmable in campaign. Is Gormask. she that good? Blood, blood feather? No, she's uh, not. 
But she gets you one step closer to Rosin. Yeah. She's actually pretty decent for faction wars if you literally have nothing. Don't don't tell the people that. <laughs> but everyone's gonna I be hate like, when people say that farming. because that translates to people hearing she's good. Yeah. No. And she's not. She's, <laughs> she's not. not good. She was good don't at like talk about her like twenty twenty okay. maybe. <laughs> she's gonna be great. She's. I don't just. Dis- Beanie said right here. Don't just. Dis- don't disrespect Bloodfeather. That's right. Bloodfeather will carry you all the way to the trash can. You went in <laughs> to the trash can. <laughs> um, you know, Drexstar is somebody who you get from Tag Team Arena, right? And yeah, I only the, yeah yeah right is it, let me see yeah right here yeah and I only just recently unlocked tag team arena I'm just talking about a little a little bit more about my progress so far excited because yeah. Jax is huge does it I've, take forever to get him though three uh, hundred days at least if Jeez. you're and and what you have to watch out for and I've already started to do this is if you're not consistent on the exact time of day when you collect it, you'll start pushing it by a few hours and then a few more hours the next time. And before you know it, you've kind of lost the day. <laughs> Look, if I'm already waiting like three, four months at that point, I really don't fucking care anymore. If it's like a couple of extra days, <laughs> you know, like I'm not. I'm, I'm big into efficiency right now. So I'm trying to be as efficient as I can with this account. And I'm, I've started setting up like reminders and I've made spreadsheets. Like I've gone full, full on nerd. Full on. Yeah. And I've gone yeah. tracking. full fucking YOLO, and I just do <laughs> random things and hope it all works out. Hope later. it lands. It sticks. But yeah, definitely. You, to. you want to save all your shards for two X events. Definitely don't don't uh, pull off a two X. I mean, he just pulled the godly. So you heard it here first, chat. Burrito Slayer <laughs> saying, if you randomly pull your shards, you will pull great things. It would have been messed up though if I pulled like a Duchess, and then people Bruh. would have been like, "Why am I saving for a two X?" I would have just quit the free to play, honestly. Yeah, just, just quit right there. Just start paying. I would have been like, "All right, time to get on the main," and I'm buying everything. I'm buying everything. <laughs> I'm spending all my money on this game. Make sure you don't go to the pack section. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please don't do that. I remember I was don't in. Don't spend um, money. Oh man, I, was I don't f- like. I think spending money is fine. If you and mean, honestly, I don't yeah, care about the, the money pricing spend, model. Yeah, spend away. You. Go for it. Yeah, it's your money. Doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. yeah, spend your money out. I'm not anti-spender. I'm not anti-polarium. Like I get it. You they, can't be because this game wouldn't game. exist without whales. Yep. Exactly. The game would not but exist. Whales are the only thing that's keeping this game running. Life just yeah. because people are spending money. Hundreds of thousands. Mm-hmm. Some crazy numbers yeah. out there. That's why and... I can be rich. I'd... <laughs> oh man, if I ever made it, like if I ever made it on you, like when if I ever like make it to a point where I'm making a lot of money, um, YouTube job and a bunch of other stuff, I'd have the greatest account you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> be dumping money into these games because I love gotcha games. I love yeah. pulling, and it could be anything. It could be sports. It can be. Games like this, like this I is my first and only one. I've never played really? one before. You yeah. never played Genshin Impact yeah. or anything of the sort? No, gotcha games. No, never, never played anything else. I tried the Watcher of Realms when everybody yeah. was has been like mocking like that. that. I don't like tower defenses. I found out like that oh, was my yeah. first tower defense game. Didn't enjoy yeah. it, and I was like, I, I kind of want to like this because everybody says it's good, but. I, I think don't it, like this. <laughs> I think it's a really good game, and I think they, I mean, it has its flaws, but I think it has a lot of things, and maybe because it's a newer game, they're just taking stuff. But, like, they have so many more things. Like, as a new player, I felt better playing that game than I do sometimes playing great. If it, like, I felt like they really showed me where I should be going and what I should be doing a little better. And I feel like I always had resources to do things. Like, more and encouragement gear change is free. Oh, it's free to change gear? Yep. Huh. Unlimited. Yeah. Also, right. like, when you upgrade champions, so, like, to upgrade champions, you have to get multiple copies of that champion, right, yeah. to awaken them. So think of it this way. So say uh, when you awaken them, mm-hmm. like, the first time, if it's a four-star champion, you get a four-star, <laughs> like, food, ch- like a chicken. So imagine if every time you times two to champion they gave you whatever 
star champion that is a free mm-hmm. chicken of it that'd be amazing I yes. just, yeah i just created like yeah. that you can use for anyone so it's just like five or six so getting multiple five stars. <laughs> yeah. i would love to have the same number of chickens on top of that yeah so like it actually gives you something instead of just like and you get the boost in stats and the boost in abilities and stuff but you also get that free chicken to use to upgrade something else like that's another thing they do really well i think that polarium really hasn't looked at the the starting of their game in a while i think they've just kind of let it be but i think that they could definitely increase their player base and retain players much more easily if they kind of revamped what the rewards are in the first 30 days or even the first week or Mm -hmm. allowing you to stack multiple promo codes because just from a business perspective if you're like it takes everybody if you have no idea how to play this game myself included my first six star when i spent way too much money i got because i fed a halcorn smash lord oh my god why would like i was feeding legend i didn't know any better i just was like i need to get this guy up to six star hey this guy's already a chicken everybody says he's terrible i'm never gonna need him so he was a chicken (laughs) like because the game doesn't give you that and it doesn't really even though i was spending money yeah i was stupid spending because i didn't know what i should be spending i just spent on shards yeah i didn't know the importance of chickens i didn't know the importance of purchasing energy or any of that stuff and i think that the game really fails new players at getting them their first six star getting that real deep hook Mm -hmm. and the dopamine in of like hey i got a six star this guy wrecks and really it takes you like i did my first six star like playing hard yeah in four days that's pretty good when i started my account yeah and that's only because there's still energy you can get from the call of the arbiter stuff Mm -hmm. like there's extras in there um but and i used every promo code that i could like that was really trying i mean if they just made people's first six star easier like i think hell hades is thrown out throwing chickens and more energy into the first week two weeks more yeah. player retention would likely go up for them. Oh, it would be insane because most people stop playing the game because they can't. They it's just way progress. too difficult. And there's no instruction. Even, there's no instruction. And I think a big problem is like how much time and effort it takes to get a champion from five, from five star to six star is days, hours. Like it's so yep. much time. And you're just, and it's not like you're doing anything fun. You're literally just hitting replay the same thing. on over auto. And, over and it's again. not like any fun. And you're like, okay, well, now those guys are 20. Take them out. Put in the threes. Okay, now that's done. Now I have to go level them up. Okay, now they're three stars. Let me throw all the three stars in there. Like, yeah. it just takes so It's not long. intuitive either. Like, wh- who would think that that's a normal thing to do, to do the same thing over and over? Like, that's why I never l- learned to farm campaign until I started looking at YouTube videos. Because mm-hmm. I was like, well, think... I already beat this. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? How am I not yeah. getting more champions? And I'm like, oh, also, you do have to just do the same thing over yeah. and, and, and over 24, and over again. 24 four stars, and four of them have to be max leveled to yep. get one champion from five star to six star. Yep. That's 24 four star champions. That's so much. That's so much training, so much energy, so much time. And most people don't even know how to do that efficiently because they never teach you. So you're just yeah. blindly like, and yeah. once you get rares, like you have no idea what's good or not. Nope. You can get a, a apothecary and be like, ah, I mean, I'm just going to feed him because I yeah. need to get this guy up. And now exactly. you're just wasting. Just <laughs> yeah. That happens a lot. I'm gonna play devil's advocate though, and oh, I'm sorry, were you gonna say No, no, go ahead. Devil's advocate. I feel like Polarium looks at statistics because they are a casino company, right? They're used yep. to gambling. Mm-hmm. They they know how all that shit works, and they probably found the right exact amount of difficulty and the right exact amount of time on average. That it takes for a player to get suckered in because if you get the player who does everything that you guys say and spend that 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 time to get a character to six star well now polarium knows they're invested and they're tracking mm. us on maybe it's our missions to see who's staying in and maybe they figured out okay if we make it a little bit easier or maybe 
this amount of difficulty, then we can get people to invest, to spend the time to try and get these chickens up. And that's what they really want. Because one of the issues I've found with games like Watcher of, maybe not Watcher of Realms, I only played Watcher and Dragonair a little bit, but I didn't really get into it. But I do remember Eternal Evolution. I tried Eternal mm-hmm. Evolution around the same time, um, you know, h was covering it. Mm-hmm. But I played it, and then I remember going through it, and I was like, oh, you know, these quality of life things that they have here, making ranking up chickens and champions and whatever uh, really easy. These instant quick battles are really nice, but it's too easy. Too mm-hmm. easy to the point where it's just like, well, what, why am I even bothering if it's that easy? But I feel like raids, some yeah. what has that down pat where it's just the right amount of difficulty for me to feel just like in dark souls that i've overcome a specific milestone or a wall that i couldn't get over Mm. and um maybe it's not a one for one like dark souls but i kind of get the same feeling at a different um receiving pace but it's it's just like that for me like oh you know uh you know i finally six starred this champion or I'm finally able to farm Spider 10, or I can finally, yeah. you know, do this and do that. And it took a while of me being in the game and investing and in, in learning. And I've seen it all the time. I've I've talked to people who are like, you know what, I'm gonna quit. I'm I'm quitting raid. And then they're they're like, oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm not quitting raid. I've invested too much. It, this time, this yeah. uh, this this logic or, or fallacy, whatever you want to call it, where they're just like, you know, I'm already in. Why not stay yeah. here? Yeah, why not? That's only over here, boys. <laughs> it's, only, it's only I'm already here. I'm yeah. addicted. I, I like up. it being hard. I just like yeah. to be able to do things that will help me grow. Like I can't mm-hmm. grow. I, I can't ever upgrade skills. There's no place to farm it. That's the only thing I don't like. Like mm-hmm. everything else about it being hard and putting in the effort, like yeah, that's the point of being a free to play. It's always going to be infinitely harder. Mm-hmm. And I like the challenge of being a free to play, though. Like I like that. Like oh, okay, you know, being able to like, hey, look, I'm clearing the same thing you are now, and I didn't pay any money. Yep. You know, ha. But what I think where it really sucks is like if I do get a legendary champion, how long do you think it takes for you to get ten legendary books? Let's say it takes ten. Five to ten to upgrade a champion. Like, when am I ever going to see ten legendary books? If you're doing give you my experience on yeah, that, go ahead. because I got really lucky in the beginning of my account, and I got one of the prism shards from mm-hmm. events. I got enough for one pull, and I happened to pull Python. Nice, which is absolutely amazing, epic or legendary. Yeah. And I was looking at him and I was going, all right, how many books does this guy take? All right, well, there's three there, there's four there, that's seven. All right, that's ten. And I, inside of, what am I, 43, 44 days, I have an extra seven books on top of that to mm-hmm. fully book him and another seven. And I just pulled Cronum. So I need to get him booked. It doesn't mm. seem like you're ever going to get that many, but you actually do pick up more than you think. Mm. Yeah, I'd say I haven't even picked up the books from Nightmare Campaign yet. There's another three sitting in yeah. there that I need to go pick up. If you're doing, uh, if you're able to start doing like Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare, um, but then it goes even faster. It goes even faster. And I'd say for me to get like seven legendary books. Honestly, it takes like somewhere between two, I'd say about like two weeks to get that much. Well, if you're not hitting like, we're. F- but if you're not. And like you're like, you're free to play. You're not hitting. Let's say you're hitting normal, maybe hard. I nope. hit hard and brutal. Yeah, no, not me. I'm still hitting normal, but, but I know brutal does drop hard. Hard can even drop uh, purple shards, but yeah, no, it's going to take forever. It yet. I have gotten one from brutal. Yeah, Brutal will drop some, and Brutal will also drop uh, your epic it, books here and there. I did get one one epic tome so far from Brutal, and that's with double the rewards every day. I can't it's wait to get It's definitely slow, <laughs> but that's the motivation for me to get into Nightmare, and I do yep. now have a team composition where I can probably two-key Nightmare pretty easily and start oh. pushing for a four-key Ultra Nightmare team. Yeah, moving up in the world. I moving am the not world. there. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Uh, on, th on this account, it, it's not going to be hitting brutal or even hard anytime soon. Maybe hard, but yeah. definitely not getting into brutal anytime soon. Dear God, how long is it going to take for this gear to get to level 16? This is pretty frustrating too, because there's no way, and, and the way that I look at some of these features, if you want to call it, like it's a feature to get this yeah. at level 40. Mm -hmm. There's that's... no way to paywall this. Like, I can't, mm. sp like, that's how I think of things with Polarium. Like, all right, I should be able to pay to get rid of this, right? <laughs> and you can't. Like, you just have to get to level 40, account level 40. Like, there is no money way around this problem, which I find odd. Two to three minutes to level a gear up. A piece of gear up from one to sixteen. Yeah. Look I think, at my silver like, honestly, the, they the need triple to just, attack roll's not bad though. Like they need to just change it. Yeah. Honestly. Like if we're thinking about it as a new player, like you can literally sit there for like twenty minutes just getting a couple pieces <laughs> exactly. of sixteen. Yep. Honestly, just, like, I, I understand it. Why they do nah. it for new players because Think about how clueless most people are when yep. they start this game. And that's mm -hmm. Polarium's fault, right? Yeah. And it's not the player's fault. I've made every terrible decision that you can make while playing this game. But if you gave them the option to dump all of their silver immediately with a press of a button, they would be doing it constantly. Yeah. At that's least true. by staring at this rolling up, you do have to think, man... That silver's kind of going down a bit. Like, I'm getting pretty low on silver. Maybe I should not be doing this. With a one click of a button, it's gone whether you like it or not. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people look at it that way. I think a lot of people Maybe look not. at it like, like, oh my gosh. I think they're more annoyed. Like, come on, like, just work. A minimal they're chance. definitely like, annoyed. Just, I, like, like, I think everybody please. is. But it and does then, seem like a protect you from yourself type of feature. Nah, I don't believe Valerium cares that much about players. When it comes to that, I think it's more of a. It's probably just an oversight. Like, hey, just get to level forty, and you can now instantly. I think it, they want you to feel how bad it's, t how terrible it is, and so when you bad. finally get to forty, you're like, thank God, I can just instant do this now. It's engagement yeah. metrics is what it is. Exactly. Like, you have to get to level forty, which means you're going to play longer, which means you're going to get more engagement with the game, and then that, that appeases their investors that your exactly. engagement metrics are this high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing. They're not dumb. Oh, of course, they're a multi-billion-dollar company. I mean, at least they're owned by one an aristocrat. But yeah. like they, they know what they're doing, and it is to squeeze every bit of money out of their game. Everything. And they're, they're just doing. excited that they've managed to do it this long. I don't think that the original intent of this game was to actually be able to sustain the level of profit that they have for this long. No. Yeah. I mean, they're a billion-dollar company. Yeah. Pretty much. And they're an anomaly, right? Like in the mobile gaming space, like most yep, exactly games don't last. Like it's it's like Zero Fortnite five. or anything else. Like even AAA games, like it's cool for a bit, but unless it's like Counter Strike, the stuff that you know I played mm -hmm. competitive Counter Strike in tournaments when I was a kid. I've been playing since like one point two, mm -hmm. and I think that also it's depends. it's still going on today. But like that's the that's the anomaly, like. Most games don't last, but what, maybe a year, year and a half, and then mm -hmm. everybody's on to the next thing. Yeah, and this uh, raid came out in 2018. So this is what, five? It's going on six Yeah, years? they're coming up on, yeah. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. So they know what they're old. doing. The other discussion that um, I had with, with somebody else, they were like, oh, um, either Polarium is going to continue investing into raid and adding to it or they're just going to completely like they know the ship is sink sinking and they're just going to let it drop and they're just going to move on to the next thing what do you think about that i think that happens all the time with all types of games whether they eventually i mean as long as they're making money i think they're making a, like billion, like millions of dollars mm -hmm. a year easily from this game alone are they just going to tomorrow be like, oh, we're starting to lose retention. Fuck it. Let's let it go. <laughs> no. What I think is more likely to happen, which we're kind of seeing a little bit of, mm -hmm. I think, already, is they're going to keep adding new features until they have a new game that picks up where this one is going, right? Like, mm -hmm. aren't they supposed to be coming out with a new? I think Raid's coming out with a new game, right? Like a new type of game. Are they? Or I, something. I, haven't, I haven't heard. 
I, I could talked wrong. about the Polarium's developing another game, but I think right. what they're quickly figuring they're... out is they have a unicorn. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, I think a lot of mobile ga- games make a lot of money. Longevity wise, they're usually yeah. around five to ten years, but it's not as rare as people think. Like, there's games that have been out for twenty years, fifteen, ten years, mobile games that are still going crazy today. And granted, with, that's more with this likely. same aggressive pricing strategy. Well, I wouldn't say aggressive, but it's definitely pay to win, like most games sure. are. No, absolutely, but it's um, like maybe a, not as extreme. One hundred fifty dollars a pack. <laughs> on, I mean, a lot of. The, I, I don't have a lot of other experience in mobile games, and that's more mobile of a games are question like, on, on this end. isn't infinitely more expensive than other games. Oh my god! Gotcha. The difference is it is thrown in your face so much more than in other mobile games. Oh really? Like if you think Dokkan Battle or Dragon Ball Z Fighters, those mm-hmm. games are extremely expensive if you want to well out, and you're spending hundreds of dollars, but you have to just go spend the hundred dollars. They're not just like every ten minutes. Here's a new. Here's a new. <laughs> a new uh, limited time offer. Here's another limited yep. time offer. Exactly. Right. It's just thrown in your face so, like to the point that it's annoying. Sometimes you just want to buy it to games, get out of there. I'm so desensitized <laughs> yeah. to it. My brain doesn't even recognize or look at what pop up I'm closing. Mm-hmm. Just because I'm so used to closing pop ups, I actually almost closed that giveaway screenshot that I that I sent you guys mm-hmm. because I didn't realize that it wasn't an, an offer. <laughs> and then I quickly glanced at it and was like, whoa, what is this? Mm. But I Can almost I instantly this? closed it out just because I'm so <laughs> programmed to just be like, pop up, close, pop up, close. Yeah. Like, I don't even think about it anymore. But I, yeah. that's this being the only mobile game I've ever played. I mean, all that's my games. that's my normal. <laughs> so I, I go into another game, it'd be weird. Price. Yeah, all these all mobile games are this type of price. Maybe Polarium is a little more extreme with throwing it in your face and like mm-hmm. trying to get you to spend. But all mobile games, any mobile game that you try and play and spend a lot of money on to grind, you can you can wail out if you want to. You you can wail out, and you're going to be spending hundreds of dollars. Like all mobile games are the same. Genshin Impact is a crazy amount of money. Genshin Impact is is far worse than Polarium when it comes really? to money. No, I'm like bad. trying to I, I spend love, money on Genshin Impact. Yeah, no, that's oh an addicting gosh. game. Yeah. So I I, I've I've just seen a, a little bit here and there on Reddit with with Genshin Impact, but. Yeah. It seems like that they're, in my opinion, looking as an outsider, that there seems to be a lot of updates happening with their games, that they communicate and do a lot of updates just from posts that I see and a lot of people discussing it on Reddit. And even though I don't play the game, I've thought, it seems like they interact pretty quickly with making changes and balances and whatnot, where, I mean, how often do champions get balanced in this game? Twice a year, maybe? And there's like maybe six total champions that get touched in that well, time? I think there's a, that's probably a problem with the pure, like most games want some type of balance mm-hmm. so you can play multiple types of champions, multiple teams. And then eventually, obviously, when new champions coming out, they're going to have to be pretty much the same type of champion as others, just slightly better. Like, I don't know, Kale. There's probably a better version of Kale, which I believe there is. Dark Kale. And then, Dark Supreme Kale. Kale. Supreme and then Kale. there's going to be a better version <laughs> of that Kale eventually. Ultimate Kale. And then eventually there's going to be, you know, as the game progresses, there's only so much you can do before some champions are completely useless. And yeah. what Polarium doesn't want to do is buff rares. I think Epics are probably the worst champions in the game right now. There's probably not a real... The older ones are really bad. Like, well, Ator was a great example that he pulled. That is right. such an old... And like, what are you going to do? Buff that champion so that he's on par with Epics that are coming out now? No. But if we're doing that, then what's the point of getting the Epics that are coming out now? Exactly. If you can just use the... the you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. in every game ever made, older units are just going to eventually be useless. Or be it's just continually overpowered. <laughs> it, it's just going to be. Are. It's just unfortunate that you can still summon those useless units. You know. Yeah. You know, I think it's an, an interesting uh, topic that was brought up about uh, raid in comparison to other games, and I actually want to continue this discussion over uh, on your channel. I was wondering if we could uh, move this over to your channel. That way, you could get a video in, and. Um, you know, we could we could talk about it there, Fergie. 
Are we talking about doing a lot? I don't know how to do any of that. Oh, you don't. Just make a, you, you, no. To make you no. just make a. Oh, you don't. You don't know how to how to. Uh... No, I'm good. I'm I'm good with. <laughs> just being here. What I got going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to keep it on yours yeah, we'll, or, or okay. for beanie, we'll, that's we'll, fine. Uh, I'm cool with this. I'm happy to be a part of the conversation. Long. <laughs> let's hold on. Let, let's do this. Let's pick up the conversation talking about raid in comparison to to other. Um, I did it. Uh, other gotcha games or maybe other some mobile games that we're playing but we'll pick it up on a different day because i know it's uh, what, what time is it in germany like zero three almost zero four four a.m over here oh it's you're in zero germany four wow. he's in germany yeah. yeah so uh we'll pick up on that video i'll link it down whenever we do it uh we can yeah. continue the con uh, conversation collab uh in a few days uh, talk about our account progression so far but other than that uh beanie thank you vergi thank you so much oh, for coming on having you. this discussion with us and we'll uh, link everything down below, socials down below. Check you guys out later. See ya. Peace. Thank you.